Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, we will be checking out the PSP UMD video. I'll be showing you guys how to convert it into an ISO file. So basically, you will need some kind of original PSP, like a PSP 1000, 2000 or 3000. One that has the um, UMD slot at the back. And I will be converting it to an ISO using this PSP. And then putting it onto my PSP Go, which doesn't have a UMD port and then I will be watching the film on here. So as you can see, the film I have got is Silent Hill. I got this on eBay, um, actually sealed brand new. This thing was super cheap. Uh, I think it was like £1.50 or something like that. So considering this was sealed in the packet for so cheap, um, you know, it's crazy how cheap these things are. There's so many of them as well. But I think, I don't really think people collect these as well. There isn't really like an archive for them on the internet. Um, I can actually like find a place to download them or anything like that, which is kind of strange. But anyway, I will be making a backup of this one. So let's just open it right now. Here it is, just like a normal PSP game if you guys have never heard of these before. But it is a film instead of a game. So it goes into the UMD slot just like that. Now I'm just going to power this thing on. So right now I can just hear it spinning in the disk drive and to watch them you actually go onto the video section and it will come up with the UMD film. So let me just turn down my volume and um, if you press X on it obviously it just boots straight into the film and then play it. So as you can see the film is running right now so I'm just going to exit out of it just by pressing the home button and then if you go on your memory stick, it will just close out. So what you want to do to copy this UMD ISO onto your PSP, the first thing, you want to have custom firmware installed. You just want to press select. It will bring up the VHS menu. You want to scroll down to where it says USB device. And as you can see right now, it's on memory stick. And if you scroll along, um, you'll go through all the flashes and then eventually you'll get to UMD disk. So once you're on UMG, disk press select again now you want to go over and go on usb connection connect your psp to your pc using the port at the top and i will show you guys what to do next right guys so over on at my pc and as you can see the psp has actually come up as silent hill so i'm not sure if it will do that on every film uh, maybe it does i don't know but if you go onto it you can find it the umd iso on here so all you want to do right click copy then go to somewhere on your computer i would recommend using a downloads folder and then just do right click paste as you can see i've already copied it across because it actually took quite a while it actually took around 17 minutes to copy the whole thing across but anyway once i've got it on here i'm just going to actually disconnect my psp also guys, don't forget on the VHS menu, you have to change it back to the memory stick. Make sure you don't leave it on UMD ISO. But anyway, now I'm just going to connect my PSP Go. Okay, so now my PSP Go has just been connected. And what I'm gonna do is go to my downloads folder, find your UMD movie, right click, go to copy, go onto your PSP, go inside of the ISO folder. Now in the ISO folder, you must have a video folder. If you don't see one, right click, new folder, call it video, go inside of that and then right click paste. Now you're just going to wait for the movie to copy across. Now this can take quite a while. I'm gonna give mine 10 minutes. It might take less, but okay. So it's estimated about four minutes and 30 seconds. So honestly, not too bad. Um, I'll just wait for this copy across. And when it's done, I'll show you guys how to watch the movie. Right guys, so on my PSP Go now, hopefully you guys can see that because the PSP Go screen isn't the best. But what you want to do is just to press the select button. You're now on the VSH menu. Scroll down to ISO video mount. It's going to be on none. And what you want to do is just change it to your UMD. So you can change it by scrolling left and right on the D-pad. Once you're selected it, all you want to do is just press X. And then your PSP is going to restart. So just give it a few seconds to reboot and then it should boot into the film just like this. I'll play it as well just so you guys know it's working. So here is the film. Now the quality is actually really good. I didn't expect them to be this good. I can generally, you know, actually watch this. It's definitely watchable. Definitely um, HD 1080p. So yeah, it's actually really cool. If you guys ever see some of these and you like the film, definitely worth picking up because they're so cheap. 
So all you want to do to exit the film and turn this off, well for the PSP Go anyway, you want to just press the home button. Now you just want to start anything up like save data utility, anything really, just so the film closes. Now press select, go back down to um, ISO video mount, change it to none, press X. Now your PSP Go will reboot. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Let me know of any other PSP tutorials because I've pretty much done them all to be honest. So yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.